everyone, so I'm going to be doing a video, um, this is going to be a couple of things that I got while I was thrifting last week, um, I went yard sailing but it rained and I only went to a couple, wasn't finding anything, and it was just really horrible outside weather wise, so, um, first thing, I want to apologize for my nails, they look like absolute crap, um, I have a complaint about the OPI Shatter Top Coat. Um, I've only ever used it one other time, like the first time I used it, I liked it, like um, it lasted a while and I mean it took a little while to get used to it first because you know it doesn't come out perfect because it's not part of you know what it's supposed to do, but um, I just used it today and it just, it's like all gloopy and gloppy and I don't understand why that happened. Um, if anyone, like, knows what I'm talking about, like, maybe I just have a bad bottle or something, I don't know, but, um, I'm a little upset by it because, you know, I like, I like the nail polish a lot, but, um, it's only my second time using it and it's already, like, goopy and everything and I just got it not that long ago. Um, so I don't really know what's up with that. But anyway, um, first I'll start with the thrift store thing since it's only, like, two things. Um. The first thing that I got was this um, little, it's like a piece of lingerie, it's just like a little baby doll, um, little, I don't know what you'd call it. I know they're called baby dolls, but I don't know like the exact term, maybe that's all it is. Um, and it has a cute little, um, at first I thought this was a bow, but it's a flower. And this one is brand new with the tags, it's by a company called Linea Donatella. Yeah, I have that upside down. Let's see who it's by. I've never heard of the brand before. But, um, it was brand new and I only paid $2 for it. So I got that. Um, I have a whole drawer full of these kinds of things. Um, my boyfriend gets me mainly ones from Victoria's Secret, like every so often, for, um, you know, as gifts. Um, but, you know, one more to the collection, can't hurt, and he thought it was really cute too, so, um, that's all that matters. I'm not really, like, a brand whore or anything like that, you know, if it's something that I like, I'll buy it regardless of the brand, like, that means nothing to me. And that's another thing, like, I never really understood, like, why some people only buy certain brands, like, even as far as makeup goes, like, MAC, like, I understand that MAC is a really good, um, brand of makeup and everything but why would you limit yourself to just one brand all your life like there's no fun in that um i love trying new things and sometimes you can find you know your favorite things aren't by the brand that you know and love so that's just how i feel about things so um and then the next thing that i got were two lip glosses and these are these are both 99 cents um they're by the brand I believe it's, uh, yeah, they're by the brand Alba, which is um, an organic, like, natural um, lip gloss brand, because um, before I started working with my boyfriend, um, he had bought me some of these lip glosses from work, and, um, see, now I work there, and I can get a discount on things, but I've never looked into it, which I probably am going to have to soon, because um, it's definitely something that I'm interested in. So I got uh, the two that they had, um, they're both the same color, the color is called Sienna, and I paid 99 cents a piece for them. Um, they're a little dark for me, um, I'm probably either going to resell them or swap them out or something, or if I ever, um, you know, well hopefully I'll have another contest soon, or you know, I can put them in there or something, but I don't think that I'm actually going to use them. Which seems like a really dumb thing to, like, buy something that you know that you're not going to use, but, um, like I said before, I, I, um, sell things a lot, so if I can buy something and I know I can get more than what I paid for for it, then I'll buy it. Um, it's rare that, you know, I don't. Um... Speaking of eBay, well, not really speaking of eBay, but speaking of, um, yeah, eBay, I, I bought, um, two things off eBay recently, um, the first thing that I got was this lip gloss, and this was by Joan Rivers, and I have, um, another lip gloss by Joan Rivers, 
Um, I know I've showed it in another video, it was a lip polish, and I like that. Um, I figured I'd give this a try. In the picture, it definitely was not as gold um, as this. This is like way gold. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I don't know if I'm keeping this because it's just very gold, very glittery. Um, that's what the swatch looks like. So I'll have to try it out first, but I don't know. Um, I'll probably end up swapping it out. And the next thing that I got was a, um, I was going through a kick where I was like looking at stuff online and I was looking at um, like um, soaps and stuff like that, like from different people who like make it, you know, like homemade kind of um, stuff like that. And so I bought um, a soap off eBay from a seller. Her name, I believe, is Diva Stuff. Um, the soap was called Coconut Cream Easter Egg Scented, which sounded amazing. Um, this was a big bar. It was probably up to like here, but I cut off a slice to give to my mom to use as like um, in the kitchen for her hands. Um, so yeah, this is what the soap looks like. It's just like a glycerin soap and it looks like she had like candy sprinkles in there which is a cute idea but obviously the candy coating on the sprinkles came off so it's not really as pretty as um, you I guess would go for um it smells okay I'm not really fond of the smell um, I'm either going to use this obviously as like a hand soap or I might just give the rest to my mom because I'm not a real big fan of it um, the smell, it smells to me kind of more like what a candle should smell like. And, you know, I'm not really going to want to smell like a candle or rub my body down with a candle. So, yeah, it's definitely not really something that I really like. But, I mean, if you're, like, into, like, trying out stuff like that, I mean, here's a more close-up view of the name and everything could check it out um she has other um other scents and other products um so along with the soap she also sent me a sample of um her microdermabrasion cranberry orange face wash cloth it's just the packaging is completely adorable it looks like this and then inside is just like a cut piece of um like washcloth that she has drenched in this like cranberry orange um mixture now this smells really good um i'll definitely try this out you can see it's kind of like drenched and stuff um so i mean i'll try that out and everything so i mean i might give it another chance and buy something else from her because some of her stuff looks absolutely amazing i just maybe i just picked the wrong scent maybe this just isn't something that smell wise that I'd go for so yeah I got that and then I went to Target um, not that long ago and I was actually watching another YouTube video from um, glitter eyes 82 so if you haven't checked out her videos have to check them out and um, she had bought um, this brand from Target that she said was similar to Lush and um, so I went and I checked it out and oh my gosh um, she had showed uh, this one thing that she got. The brand is called One, and it's like a natural, organic uh, brand. And I got um, a solid shampoo. It's called a hair biscuit, and it's just like the um, solid shampoo bars that you buy at Lush. Um, and the great thing is, they come in their own like travel tin. So at Lush, you know, you have to buy the tin separately. And also, these have a little drainage thing on the bottom, so, um, you know, the water can drain out. That way, um, you know, your bar won't get all soggy and gross, which Lushes don't have. Um, so that's awesome. And for, um, everything was like $5.99, which is really cheap. Um, I actually don't even know what how much the Lush bars um, sell for. Um, I had a Godiva bar and a um, 
gosh, what was the other one? I think it was blue, but I can't remember the name of it. Um, but Godiva was my favorite, and this is, like, so similar. I mean, it looks the same, and it even, it has the same kind of smell. It's not spot on, but it's, um, fairly close. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. My Target only had this one, but I do believe that they have other, um, scents and everything. So, um, hopefully they'll get more scents in at some point, because this was the only one they had, and it was the last one that they had. So, I got that, which I would totally recommend if you are into Lush, if you're into natural products, and into, like, trying different stuff out. They had other stuff, too. They had massage bars, bath bombs, um, I can't even remember what else. Um, I think it was a bath salt, lotion, I don't even remember. But they also had, um, lip balms. And I got one in Cherry Pie, which looks like this, and it smells really good. It's not, it doesn't have a very strong smell, and, but it's moisturizing, and it smells good. Oh, they also had, I don't know if I mentioned, they do have soaps too, um, but, um, and they also had other flavors of these, but I can't remember all of them, but there was another one that I was interested in trying so I might get that one next time. The lip balms were two dollars and fifty cents. So I also got that. And let's see, the only other thing that I can think to talk about. Um so at the beginning of the year I um wrote down like all of my New Year's resolutions. I filled like an entire page of this notebook of New Year's resolutions that I wanted to accomplished this year and quite frankly I haven't accomplished any of them yet so far um wait no I lied there is one that has been accomplished and my goal is to try to get more of these accomplished before the year's up which I still have a lot of time and I might do videos like surrounding the different ones that I have and they're not really all like health related or beauty related or personality related or anything like that. Um, some of them are just simply like buying something um, that I absolutely need. Like not just for the sake of oh I want it but something that I need to to buy something. Um, so the only one I accomplished was I had in, in here that I needed a new washer and dryer which we have gotten, we actually got with our tax returns this year. So, um, I might do a video of that, just like, you know, try to make a video of each one so you can see my new washer and dryer. Um, I was really excited for them because we, the ones that we had when we moved in here, um, when we first moved in, uh, we didn't have a washer and dryer and I had to carry, um, I had to like lug, um, all of her wash to my mom's house to use her washer and dryer. So, um, and then we got a washer and dryer from one of my boyfriend's relatives and I mean it was probably from like the 60s or 70s. Uh, it wasn't a matching set and um, before we got our new washer and dryer it was on like its last legs. I'm surprised it didn't like blow up or something. Like, it wasn't drying the clothes, our clothes completely, and it was just, you know, definitely we're needing a new washer and dryer. And the more even amazing thing about having a new washer and dryer is that it's kind of like a toy, so he's been doing the laundry. It's awesome. The thing that I wanted to show was this, um, box that I've been storing my nail polishes in, um, I got this box at Michael's. They have like all sorts of ones. I don't know if they still do. Last time I was in, they had them all on sale. And I wish that I would have got more. Because that probably means that they were getting rid of them. But I didn't get any. So, um, I'm going to be really upset if I go back and they don't have any more. But it's really cute. It has a little pink, um, high heel shoe on it with feathers. And then, like, I can't lift it up because it's way too heavy. But it has the same print on the sides. And on the inside, it's like lined in the print. And I have, I can't say I have all my nail polishes in here because I have more nail polishes than what's in here. But this is a majority of them. 
I'm really going to try to downsize. Um, I was thinking about getting rid of some of my OPI, like ones that I just don't don't use and don't think that they're colors that I'm going to use. But um, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. But uh, this is just some of my nail polishes. But anyway, um, this isn't the best option for organizing nail polish. One, because all your nail polishes are different heights. So um, some of them can't fit in here because the box won't close. But all of these can. And two, the box is incredibly heavy and it's really hard to pick up because it doesn't have like a handle or anything like that. So it's definitely not a really good... Um, thing for organizing but it's just what I have them in right now so yeah um hope you guys like the video